If you've played Slay the Spire, you'll know how intoxicatingly addictive its gameplay can be. In this video, I will show you some best games like Slay the Spire in 2021. So without any further ado let's start this video. The first game of this video is Roguebook. Roguebook is far from a carbon copy of Slay the Spire, but it has more than a few things in common. Its combat will be instantly familiar to anyone who's played Slay the Spire before, each card has a cost, and ultimately will either attack the opponent or defend you from their incoming attack. Here, though, you have two characters, each with their own attack styles, and each with cards that are unique to them. Next up we have Dicey Dungeons. Throw dice into the mix and what do you have? Dicey Dungeons takes the deck-building formula of Slay the Spire and adds a sprinkling of luck, random generation, and a couple of dice. Like Slay the Spire, you can choose a character to play as, each with their own skills and abilities. The warrior has powerful weapons, while the robot is more luck-based, with a casino game it plays each round. Next up we have Nowhere Profit. More like Roguebook than Slay the Spire, Nowhere Profit tasks its players by traveling across a map. Each map you'll come across in the game is randomly generated, so you'll never play the same game twice. In the game, you take on the role of a leader, leading a group of outcasts and refugees across a dangerous wasteland. Naturally, there are many battles to be fought on your way, and that's where your cards come in. Next up we have Deepest Chamber. If you want the gameplay of Slay the Spire with the atmosphere of Darkest Dungeon, Deepest Chamber is for you. It's currently in early access, but while the current build doesn't include all of the areas, enemies, quests and trinkets that the full game will feature, it still packs enough content in that it's a worthwhile experience. Next up we have Ring of Pain. Ring of Pain feels more stripped back than other card-based battlers. Indeed, its core mechanics are different from Slay the Spire, rather than collect cards, you simply move through them. Each card you come across is its own encounter, be it an enemy to kill or an item to collect. Like the name suggests, each level of Ring of Pain is a literal Ring of Pain, cards are arranged in a circle, and players must work their way through them, attacking and surviving long enough to make it one step further. Next up we have One Step from Eden. When a popular game like Slay the Spire does well, a trend usually starts of other, similar games coming out. But, one game series that desperately needed a trend of its own was the Mega Man Battle Network franchise. Those games had such a unique approach to combat, but not many other titles tried to emulate it, well, until one step from Eden. Next up we have Loop Hero. Can't really talk about the repetitive nature of roguelikes and deck builders without talking about Loop Hero, now can we? This is the game that seemingly popped up out of nowhere and took the industry by storm. So much so, you all quickly burned through it and were ravenous for more games like it. But, not many games can make up to the unique tone, gameplay, or style that Loop Hero has going for it. Next up we have Monster Train. Here's something perfect for people who just want more of Slay the Spire, or as close as they can get. Though, while Slay the Spire is all about vertically climbing the tower, Monster Train is focused on horizontal travel, taking the pyre of hell back to the frozen heart. Along the way, you'll be summoning demons of all sorts to fight against the angels trying to stop you. Next up we have Into the Breach. Going from playing as monsters to fighting monsters, Into the Breach, is made by Subset Games, a company most known for faster than light. FTL was all about journeying across the stars building up a crew and ship as powerful as possible to try and hopefully beat the rebel flagship. Meanwhile, Into the Breach is more puzzle-centric in its design, though you wouldn't expect that given it's a game all about fighting gigantic insects with mechs. The last entry here is Card Quest, a game that's frankly a step down from STS in almost every way. Thankfully, it's just a single step and not a whole flight of stairs. Card Quest has a simplistic art style, less complex systems, and less potential for combinations compared to other deck builder games, but it's still a lot of fun. So that's the list of 10 best games like Slay the Spire that you can play in 2021. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Games Puff, and press the bell icon for more gaming updates.